So we're heading out of uh, Moscow after uh, two great meetings, the WHO Global Forum and the first ever ministerial meeting on healthy lifestyle and non-communicable disease. Uh, so it was a packed three days of uh, trying to line up commitments and uh, make progress towards the UN summit taking place in New York in September. Well, I think it was hard to know what to expect because you had so many countries and so many NGOs and, and, and so many different representatives coming to the table. It was hard to know what would really come out of this meeting, but uh, I think that a lot of progress was made. I think that the Moscow Declaration uh, includes a lot of language that we're supportive of, uh, language around making sure that, that people all over the world have access to uh, care, making sure that uh, preventive measures are, uh, uh, are, are furthered and advanced around the world. and. Um, so now a lot of hard work begins to, to make sure we get governments to commit to these things prior to and following uh, the UN summit in September. Biggest surprise? Well, you know, I think the, the interaction between civil society um, and seeing how civil society is viewed in certain countries uh, and the value that civil society uh, brings um, was significant. Um, but uh, you know, this was my first uh, UN style meeting, so um, maybe the biggest surprise was the uh, the process uh, and how things are uh, how things are done um, with a uh, an old uh, process of inclusion, um, which was uh, interesting to experience. I think the biggest takeaway is we have a once in a lifetime opportunity, and it's going to take urgent action from people all over the world. This is our chance to make sure that NCDs are on the global agenda and that countries commit to save and improve lives uh, all around the world. So um, 2011 is our chance and we can't, uh, we can't miss this opportunity.